Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for May 26 until June 1st. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Mm. All right, Taurus, you're going through some transition, but for the better. Looks like you're finally be getting your wish or getting what you feel like you deserve to have, even though there is something that you need to give up. Some Taurians are going through some breakups or separation from a water sign. And even if you turn in to your friends for some advices, company opinions, or even if you just want to vent out, it seems like you'll be feeling so alone and sad and lonely this week all right well some of you will be going through some separation and then you'll be getting the money that you deserve i feel like the uh you know your partner is not going to be that greedy and they're not going to give you any hard time getting what you deserve but you both feel like it's just time okay now you're only trying to find the strength because you know that this Two shall pass but the changes you know that uh, right before they occur there are some things that you need to shut off there are some things that you need to uh you know there are some things that you need to realize that it's not really meant for you to have but even though that's the case you know there are some things that you feel like why does it have to start if it if it's going to end or why does it, why do you have to have it why do you have to meet somebody if you feel like you know if at the end of the day or at the end of it you're not going to be ending up together the thing here is you have to understand that sometimes life gives us some people to help us learn our lesson for us to grow and for us to widen our experience but not necessarily mean that all the people that we you know that we get involved with are actually the ones that we'll be ending up with you know, sometimes holding on it too much, if you feel like it's no longer working, it hurts more than letting go. So, but the good thing here is, you know, to balance your heartbreak and to balance your um, bit of a, let's say, painful, you know, emotionally painful week for you. Money will be coming in you know um i feel like if you're also trying to divide your assets if there are some things that you're trying to get to divide to you know to have it seems like finally you'll be getting your wish or you'll be getting your you know the money that you deserve for you to start all over again for you to start a new life and to start a new chapter now some of your friends that you will try to ring or that you will try to contact they're not they're not going to be available and most of them are actually busy with their own private lives, so you don't want to interfere or you don't want to create some more attention or drama, but you will be going off on your own. You will be planning for a travel, but not this week, okay? You just want to finish off whatever that you needed to finish off. There are some contracts, legal agreements, or, you know, some legal stuff that you need to go through and that you need to, um, to give your consent to. And I feel like you will be visiting your family or relatives this week rather okay so financially you'll be okay you'll be i feel like you'll be well provided you don't really have to it, and it will come in lump sum okay it's not going to come in an installment basis like every month or something like that it will be you know it will be given to you in bulk but you have to use and utilize that money in a very productive way or in a more useful way rather than just a you know like a shop till you drop kind of an attitude and some Taurians will also find out that they are also pregnant or that they are you know that they are also having some problems getting pregnant now there has been a lot of issues in your relationship that you have tried to hold on too far you know so long and uh I feel like this whole relationship feels like you, you feel like there's still something that you can do to save this but sometimes when you feel like you can save it your partner is the one who's giving up but when your partner is the one who is doing something to save it you're the one who's giving up so it's like you can't really meet in the middle and uh, 
sometimes you're no longer on the same page and finally you know that you will be agreeing something upon this week and whether this is just a temporary thing or whether this is a permanent thing you are m much more ready for the new changes to to begin with and to welcome into your new life um relationship wise i don't feel like you will be ready for anything okay even dating even talking i feel like you just want to enjoy most of your solo time you know and uh, get to know more about yourself because right after all these years you have already forgotten to be who you are and to be who you really are or you meant to be and you will also be tracking down your path you will be um revisiting some of those things in the past and you will also be um revisiting some old memories your dreams your hobbies and uh, i feel like this week will be all about you and enjoying your money okay now some of you will also be not really resigning but you will be taking some time off from your work uh you will also be somewhere in the middle of um, resigning quitting or just starting a new job or create your own business okay but altogether you just want to you're also feeling so burned out with your job anyway and um, you've already finished off all the things that you needed to hand over so you will be enjoying much more of your time and um, you know not to think about work and not to think about anything the water sign however will be reaching out to you and uh, they will also feel so conscientious i don't feel like there is a third party but it seems like or if there has been a third party but it seems like it's not really you know that's not really the reason why why the two of you will be separating or will be making a decision that it's just much better to to let each other go but i feel like it's more of your your feelings that you're still trying to check if it's still there or if it's still worthy of staying okay um your partner even if they're not going to be showing their emotions because they are not really good in showing their emotions they they always bottle it up and they're they're very quiet you know even if you try to push them even if you try to squeeze them they'll just remain quiet and show their rebellion but at this point even if you feel like they're not really affected they are okay they're not going to show you that they are crying or that they will be crying or that they are hurt but deep inside they do okay they just let their tears flow whenever they're alone and when nobody else is looking so i feel like your partner is just much more emotional than you but they don't want to show it to other people even you anyway now you don't want to spend too much of your money and you want to save it later on if there is something that you feel like you know that you really want to do some of you will be going through some real estate business or will be going through some house flipping like buying some short uh, um well those houses that you know that they are short selling and those you know old houses that's really bitten up and stuff like that but you want you just want to re renovate or you just want to rebuild it again you will be successful in that area okay and you will also be known for your artistry and creativity however you are also planning to move away or to move to a new place new city new state or whatever it is because you just can't really stand the separation and you feel like you needed a new place to breathe in you don't want to bump into each other you don't want to see old places that you that you used to go or you know the uh, their office or something like that for you if you want to make a brand new beginning you want to do it in a different place you want to do it in a different ground or different environment and i feel like you have a friend around you or there's someone that you already know who will be making their presence clear that they are more than willing to you know to help out and to wait until that you're fully ready emotionally and I don't feel like this person is a perfect match for you or is a good idea but they will be very helpful you know as a friend and uh, as a companion but 
to be in a relationship with this air sign, they don't feel like they are, you know, the right fit. Now... And right before starting anything right now, you need to have a clear blueprint of where you really want to go. What do you really want to, you know, to do in your life and how you will make it happen instead of just acting in a spur of the moment and, uh, you know, or like out of the blue that you would just do this and do that impulsively. And then later on, when things did not really work out the way you wanted it to be, then you would just regret. Okay? So for you to avoid that, much better to have a better plan. Much better to think things over. Don't act on your impulse. Don't make a decision when you're angry or when you're emotional. And you need to let the time pass by. If you want to quit in your job, this is not the perfect week. Okay? Make sure that you will have a backup. But one thing's for sure is that you will be making three brand new beginnings this starting this week. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Taurus. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.